All right, this is Brian from Bee's Music Shop. I'm here at the Summer summer NAMM Show. This doesn't exist anymore. No, I'm here at the... No, there's no summer there either. Well, we're in, we're in Michigan, so yeah. we're It's so not snowy here. I love it. I'm at the NAMM Show in Anaheim 2024, and I'm here with Sebastian from Ground Control, who sent me an email last week, and this was like one of the first things I wanted to look at. This is, tell me about this. I, I don't even know how to start. Yeah, me neither, actually. Uh, it's called the Uwu Virtual Bed Buffer. It's our newest one. So at its core, it's a buffer pedal, right? Uh, helps with like long signal chains and whatnot. But more interestingly, uh, I don't know if you guys remember like Tamagotchi toys from yeah, the 90s, whatever. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, it's what it's based on. So basically you have a virtual pet inside the pedal that reacts to your playing in real time. So if you look at the corner of the screen, you see a, le a level indicator and an experience points indicator, just like in video games. Yeah. And as you play, the creature reacts to it and gains experience points. Of course, now what you're seeing is like it, the pedal is in demo mode, so everything's accelerated because it takes more time to like yeah. uh, evolve through it. But yeah, so that's what it does. So you see like an experience point multiplier when you play for a long time or whatever. And um, I keep playing so you can see the, the level up screen. So yeah, that's what it does. And uh, that's the main feature. On top of that, like there's a menu that you can access by uh, holding the A and B button. Yeah. And um, there's like mini arcade games and various settings to a set of the pedal. So yeah. I saw you at a cat game, which we're being a cat themed music store. I was like, yeah, I'm, I'm all about this. I'm not even that much into cats, actually. <laughs> all right, well, we got to go. <laughs> but no, this is so cool, man. I love that you you feed it by playing guitar. Yeah, it was it was really like a random idea. I was I was working on something else entirely, and out of the blue, I just had a flash. I remember te te texting my friend who does the artwork, and just saying, "Dude, we're we're putting a Tamagotchi inside a pedal." And one year later, here we are. I just I just I, I notice it doesn't die if you don't play the guitar for a month though, which well, I you, really thought it would. I, I was reading the stuff. I was like, how how does it die if you don't play? Well, it doesn't. But we've had people suggesting it, and I'm starting to think that we might do it. Yeah, we need we need uh, we're guitar players. We need stakes. We need stakes. Yeah, maybe I don't know. Maybe something to consider. <laughs> so what else do you have here? I want to see some of your other pals. We have your pigeon right, so, wearing a crown. All right. So this is yeah. This is our a re, the, the Bredel pedal. This is a reissue of our 2016 Overdrive from when we launched, because uh, we took it out for, on produ for production for a while. Uh, so basically, this isn't a clone, but this is uh, like pretty standard, quote unquote, Overdrive, as far as drives go. Uh, so you've got like your main uh, gain channel with gain control. You have a trouble roll off. Oh, well, you have an extra gain channel if you want an extra kick for lead parts, for example, with its own gain control, right? And back in the day, we used to make it like in two flavors, right? And uh, silicon and germanium diodes. Yeah. But since then, we've streamlined manufacturing, so it's gotten easier to just like put both of them together anyway. So you have like a uh, toggle switch to change, and uh, it's better for cons uh, summers anyway. So yeah. And then what, what is this guy right here? All right, that's from that's our pedal from 2019. That's the noodles. It's a mix between an EQ and a boost pedal, right? So you've got like three channels, uh, bass channel, mids channel, and treble channel. You can enable, toggle them independently, each of them. And for each, you also have, well, these are maybe hiding with you a little bit. For each of them, you have like three frequencies of interest that you can set and their own gate control. So basically you have like 64 different combinations of filters to alter your tone. Uh, me personally, I'm not crazy about like fiddling with like knobs and uh, uh, pots like forever. I'd rather just like have something that works right off the bat and just start playing. So that's what it was uh, inspired nice. by. Awesome. Well, hey, that's your first interview ever. Yes. We survived, yeah. you survived. I lived, I lived. You lived. Thanks so much for talking to us, man. I appreciate it. Thank you.